Hello everyone. I am, I watched a video, I think it was this morning, by Ginger PG Stationery. And she basically turned one of these covers into a ring bound cover by adding kind of a bit of laminate in there and attaching the rings to the laminate. And I'm going to link that below. That was really interesting because I have, <laughs> I have old planners. Um, I had been thinking about this planner and there was a previous video that I saw by Sarah Bailey Arts where she upcycled an unused planner, but she upcycled an A5 one down to about this size and she like proper book bound it with kettle stitching and glue and stuff and it was amazing. So I'm going to link that one too because you've got to see that. What I think I'm going to do... Um, Ginger Peachy's doing the ring thing reminded me that I have a pocket rings cover. This is a Mo term. It's cute. It just has like this kind of paper size on these rings. And I haven't been able to, I haven't used it in a few years, I think three years. And I don't think they make this anymore. You can, you might be able to find one of these used, but, um, I like this and I'd like to use it. And I was trying to think of how I would go about having some kind of paper to do my swatching um, on kind of old style Tomoe River. So, considering that this has old style Tomoe River, and I was, I had intend, yeah, look what I did. <laughs> I had intended to use this as a swatch book. Um, I was copying somebody else here. I can't remember who, but if I do, I'll put that in the description as well. Um, but this just kind of wasn't working for me, but I, you know, I did not get far. I only got about this far. And I thought if I kind of just cut this down, I have a monster paper cutter and I'll show you my monster paper cutter. But if I cut this much out, then I get rid of the quotes, which drive me insane. And then I can just punch, punch the holes and stick them all in here. And this could be my Tomoe River swatching book and I because I tend to when I punch the holes I kind of cut slits in all of them I can easily pull them in and out so if I'm kind of trying to reference another color I could have my Tomoe River swatch and my cards that I uh I think are from Warringal um that is the other method I use to swatch so yeah I'm going to take this and cut it to smithereens with my monster paper cutter and punch holes in it and stick it in here and I'll show you some of that on the way. And then I'll take it out. Okay, I think the kind of the video that I shot of me cutting this was a little bit of a car crash, but um, yes, it is cut. Same size as these. This is the little bottom bit, this is the little edge I cut off. Um, I did a test punching <laughs> before I turned the camera back on because wanted to make sure that uh, I remembered how to do it, but this is a Repesco uh, six hole punch and you can adjust it to A5, A6, pocket, all kinds of sizes um, just by adjusting, where is it? What do you adjust? You adjust something. Oh, you adjust these on the back. You just kind of move them down. But I just showed it where I've got my little washi tape from back when I was planning in this. And voila. Then I could use these old tabs that I have for different colors, just label them or something. Ta-da! So I'm going to do the whole thing. And then I'll come back and film what it looks like when it's done. I'm back. I've loaded all the papers in. And here's what I do. 
for each. I do it in little groups. I haven't done it yet for all of them. I'm just kind of showing you what I do. Learn this from uh, Talks from the Heart. And you can just go mm -hmm -hmm. kind of like a disc bound. And easy to kind of take right back out. So I'm going to do that for all of them, but not in this video. So I've got a bunch in here. Some in this section, and I think that'll just be the different colors. And some in this section, and then back here I have all the weird scraps where I can just do pen tests to see if they're writing kind of thing. Um, and look, it's still really small. That's a whole vec, really. So, yeah, that was it. Talk to you later. Bye.